Hello guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three different ways I recommend you doing to get the Star Trader achievement. Alright, let's get started. So the first way will be to put, to put a village in a boat, like this one, then put a lead on the boat, then build all the way up to Matt's height. Alright, I'm at Matt's height. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a little little platform for this villager to go on. Alright, now I'm gonna fin the villager to the side jump. It's very hard to do this. Oh, so close. There we go. Alright, there. I got the villager on. Alright, get that whip off. Now, let me trade with it. So, a second way you can get this achievement is first, you need to build all the way to Matt's height, 2x2. Two Alright, there we go, we're on level 19. Alright, we're gonna make a little platform on level 19. And, and we'll concentrate on Matt's level after. Alright, and, and, and there we go, there, and then you can put any light source you want. I'm using glowstone. This is so mobs can't spawn up here, because mobs can spawn up. Hey, Alright, I found a zombie. A zombie villager. Alright, so what you want to do now is load the zombie villager all the way up. Alright, there we go. Now let's get the zombie villager up here. Oh no. Now let me cut him off. There we go. Is he gonna? Ah, there we go. Now what you want to do is throw a splash potion of weakness at the zombie villager. <laughs> now you want to do is throw another splash potion, and kill. It's nearly die time. I hope the zombie villager doesn't die. To uh. Or oh, the zombie feels I might die, I need to do something. Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright, there we go, the village is done. Now, now, now once the, now once the zombie village is killed, um, make another platform to Matt's height. Now because for me it was turning daytime and the zombie villager would have died, um, I'm just, well, what you should do next is just wait for the villager to go up. Eventually the villager will go up. And there we go. And, and and then you can just trade whatever with the villager but I don't have those things to trade now I'm going to show you the last way on how to get this achievement there are more ways to get this achievement but I just wanted to show these three today in this video so this last way is making a water elevator that pushes the villager all the way to max height I'm going to be using this because it's already got blocks and what you're going to need is a lots of blocks and lots of kelp I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the reason why you need to use kelp so 
what I did is I made a little example here. So the reason why you're going to need kelp is because the soul sun particles, because the particles from the soul sun don't don't appear when it's flowing water. You need to make the water a source block. So what I did is I I replaced the soul sun, replace it with dirt, and then uh and then plant your kelp, and then go all the way up, and then swim down. Then you can destroy the kelp. Then place your soul sand, and then you can go all the way up because all of this water is a source block. It's not flowing anymore. And to show you that, and to show you that it's a source block, I'm going to collect water from it because you can't collect water from flowing water. So now to do this, you need to make a structure like this. Then build up a bit. Then get rid of these two blocks. Go down one block. And then around all of this, place water because you're going to need to jump down. Then to save time, build up like this all the way to max height. And uh, well, what um, uh, what you want to do is go on Y level 19. If this is so, you can place torches around the flowing water. Ah, uh, I forgot to bring my water. All right, I'm back up here now. I'm gonna place my water. Now the reason why you're gonna want to put torches around the water because once you're above a certain height limit, the water will be able to freeze. So the torches will stop it from freezing. Now once the water's down, uh, make sure there's no soul sand. You wanna plant you wanna plant your kelp and go all the way up with it. Ugh. But this can be very dangerous because you can drown. So at a certain point break out to get some air. I'll show you. Alright, there we go. I placed all the kelp. Kelp. I <laughs> can't and, and now what you want to do is jump all the way down. Alright, there we go. Now destroy the kelp. All of it will destroy up on the way. Now replace the dirt with soil sand. And now you can go all the way up without dying. And there we go. As you can see, all the water from the holes are all flowing out. So what you could do is you could swim back up and uh, put all and fill the holes. But but what I did is I just. I just made sure the water wouldn't flow down with all of this. Now the last thing you want to do is bring your villager, block them in so they don't escape when I destroy the boat. Don't don't bring them up with a boat. Don't bring them up with a boat. Uh, yeah, just do this. Now I'm gonna destroy the boat. And now push the villager up into the thing. And then there you go. No, no, go out with the villager as well. Alright, put him up and and then look, he's on max height and now you can just trade whatever with him. Even though I don't have the stuff to, but yeah. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification button to not miss out on, on other videos like these. And like my videos, show your appreciation to them. Alright, see you next time. Bye guys.